गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई ट्रस्ट ऑडियो बीडियो इज ओके यस सर सो लास्ट टाइम आई हैव गिवन यू द आइडिया अबाउट द इंस्टेंटेनियस फेलियर रेट और हजार रेट फंक्शन और द मींस कंडीशनल फेलियर रेट प्रोबेबिलिटी नाउ डिपेंडिंग ओवर दैट वी हैव द फॉलोइंग इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरम इन रिलायबिलिटी द फॉलोइंग थ्योरम गिव्स the method of determining ft and rt if z is known if instantaneous failure rate or hazard rate function or conditional probability of failure is given to you then how you can determine the pdf of time to failure and the reliability so uh, it is the theorem 6.2 if t is the time to failure a random variable it is the continuous random variable continuous random variable of a device with pdf small f and cdf capital f it is given to you f0 is equal to 0 z is failure rate of the function of a device then rt is equal to e to power minus integral 0 to t z is ds and ft is equal to z t into e to power or exponential of minus integral 0 to t z is ds for t greater than equal to 0 so last time i have given you uh, the idea about this so last time i have given you the idea of the zt is equal to this uh, ft upon rt so from here ft can be written as जेट इंटू आर टी और एफ एस इज इक्वल टू जेड एस इंटू आर एस and we know that if we are writing the zs is equal to fs upon rs and fs we know it is nothing it is the minus of r ds s fs is minus of r ds s upon rs so when we integrate both side integrate both side with respect to s from 0 to t so this will become integral 0 to t zs into ds and integral 0 to t minus r ds upon rs into ds so from the right hand side we have the result minus ln of rs zero to t rs into ds plus c acha it is the definite integral so when definite integral it will not go so and limit is the zero to t so this will become uh, it will become the minus of ln of the rt so rt will become e to power minus of zero to t zs into ds so this is the formula for the reliability in terms of the zt similarly from the same relation we know that 
एफ टी इज इक्वल टू जेड टू इन टू आर टी एंड आर टी वी कंप्यूटेड सो दिस विल बिकम जेड टी इन टू एक्सपोनशियल ऑफ इंटीग्रल जीरो टू टी जेड एस इंटू डी एस सो दिस इज द पी डी एफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ द हेजार्ट रेट फंक्शन सो यस सर वाई आर वी इंटीग्रेटिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी जस्ट टू ब्रिंग द आंसर बिकॉज वी हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस टू द टाइम टी ना वी हैव टू कंप्यूट द रिलायबिलिटी एट द टाइम टी ओके सर वी वॉन्ट टू कंप्यूट द रिलायबिलिटी एट टाइम टी ना सो नाउ so the proof we have done so it means now if the ft rt is given then you can compute the hazard rate function if hazard rate function is given to you then you can compute the ft and rt then after theorem 6.3 here we have the new term mean life length of a device is et is equal to integral 0 to infinity rs into ds so what what i have given you the idea that what is the t t is the time to failure t is time to failure and if it is the time to failure it means it is the continuous random variable so continuous random variable means characterized by characterized by pdf ft and cdf capital ft so when we have this so we if it is a continuous random variable we can compute its expected value so expected value means it is the mean of so mean of time to failure so it is known as the mean time to failure it is known as the mean time to failure or commonly we call it as a mttf so mttf is nothing it is the mean time to failure of a device and it is uh, given uh, uh, by the theorem it is equal to by the theorem it is equal to integral 0 to infinity rs into ds so means mean time to failure if you want to compute so it's it is integral rs into ds where rs is what rs is the reliability of a device or reliability of the system so what is the if i'm saying that t is continuous random variable it is the time to failure ft is pdf ft is pdf so what is the basic formula for computing the expectation yes what is the basic formula for computing the expectation yes anyone t times probability pardon what you have said so integration over 0 to t t times ft dt why 0 to t so 0 to infinity 0 to infinity right integral 0 to infinity value into associated probability right so ft into dt and ft is this can be written as ft can be written as 0 to infinity t and ft Theta can be dr. written as minus dr by dt into dt this we can write it means this will become minus integral 0 to infinity uh, t into dr so if you integrate it by parts so its integration will come minus t rt 0 to infinity minus integral 0 to infinity rt into dt 
and uh, at the infinity r infinity is what zero zero and r uh, t is equal to zero so for both limit this will be the zero and this will become to minus yeah right so minus minus plus so it will become the zero to infinity um, rt into dt clear similarly in this they have given that it is what integral it is what integral zero to infinity rs into dr right they have given the integral um, zero to infinity rs into ds and what is the rs integral zero to infinity rs into ds what is the rs zero to infinity yes what is the rs t to infinity fu into du this is the by definition so it means it is the question of the double integral right so this is the limit of the s and this is the limit of the u so here we have the u and s so when we have the u is equal to t or you can say from the s to infinity because we have taken the s variable here s so u is equal to s so this is the line of the u is equal to s so if, uh, when the u is equal to s this point and u is equal to uh, u is equal to infinity so this is the and s is equal to 0 s is equal to infinity it means we have to integrate over this area so when uh, change the order of integration change the order of integration so for changing the order of integration what we have to do we have to change the direction of the strip right when we change the direction of the strip at that time for covering the same thing same area for covering the same area what will be the limit of the s now we write the limit of the u and here we write the limit of the s so what will be the limit of the yen s s will become 0 to u 0 to u and u will become 0 to infinity right u will become the 0 to infinity so this will become and here we have the ds and here we have the fu du so integral u is equal to 0 to infinity fu du and its integration is s 0 to u or you can say u so this will become integral u is equal to 0 to infinity u fu into du and what is this yes what is this this e is the t. e of t so integral 0 to infinity rs into ds is the the same so by any approach you can prove this it's up to you so by both way either using the crude formula or the given a relation you can prove the same thing then after we have the bath tub curve any device any machine any system right even the human being follow the bath tub curve bath tub curve is nothing it is a curve it is a graph between the time and the time and the hazard rate function it is the graph between time and hazard rate function the shape of this due to the shape of this curve we call it as a bath tub curve so up to here up to here we have the phase 1 from uh, from here to here we have the phase 
and after that we have the phase three. So this phase is known as the early failure period or uh, intermediate failure period or the um, last phase is known as the bear out period or the old age mortality phase. Right, Mid uh, middle one is known as the useful life period or middle age period or phase second and first one is known as the early failure, infantile mortality period, early life period, debugging period or breaking period. Means, what is that this? What you can understand from here? Means when we have the new device, new system, always we have the high chance of the failure. Means failure rate is very high. Here, when we have the new system, failure rate is very high. As time go, the failure rate will decrease. Failure rate will decrease. It is true for any system, whether you purchase the new TV, new machine, new computer, whatever the thing. Even it is true for the human being also. Means newborn baby has the high chance of the mortality. But as the time elapses, right at the time go the failure rate decrease then after we have the constant failure rate so when we are saying that constant failure rate so at that time there is very less chance of the failure means hazard rate is very low and in general there is a failure due to some accident means if you are purchasing the new computer if it has to fail, it fail within the 10, 15 to 20 days. Otherwise, it work for the four or five years. In gen generally, it failed due to the accident. High voltage, something. So due to the accident only. So after certain period, useful life period, again, the failure rate start to increase due to the bear out due to the bear out in mechanical system we have the means if uh, due to the friction or bear out in the electronic item due to the detrusion in the trans transistor or capacitor we have the detrusion even in the human being during the old days right we have the high chance of the mortality so as the age increase the mortality rate is increasing means hazard rate is increasing so whether we have the machining system, device, unit, system, subsystem, whatever, or the human beings all follow the bathtub pattern. Even in the software, even in the software also. Or, uh, initially, we have, we have the debugging phase. So if we have the new software, we have the very high chance of the failure. But when software is okay, it works for uh, many years continuously without any problem then after using so means for many years due to some hidden problem it is start to give some uh, it is start to give some problem right because due to the some virus or due to the internal changes in the program right we have the failure of the software after many years so it means it implies the failure rate of the software also increase with time in the old age phase right so generally that's why we provide the warranty of any device for this period because at that time we know that we have the failure due to some manufacturing defect it is not it is not, uh, there is no defect due to the detrusion it is only due to the manufacturing defect only right so they remove that defect and uh, it is the as new as uh, it is as good as the new one right so that's why generally we provide the warranty for this period only so that we have the high chance of the return also so we have the three phase of the failure phase one due to the manufacturing defect or due to the poor design or due to the poor material or error in the assembly or error, poor knowledge of the operation sometimes we do not know how to operate right so due to that inefficiency there is the failure of the device so poor knowledge of operation 
so generally here we have the, uh, this period come under the warranty period for the device for the system and generally we have the chance of the replacement by the manufacturer then the phase 2 it here the constant fail, uh, we have the constant failure rate and for the long period useful life is for the long period and having the constant failure rate so phase 2 so here we have the failure due to the chance chance causes accident environmental effect the period of useful life of a device phase 3 due to the deterioration of the component of the device so when we compare with the human being life so phase 1 is what the period of infant mortality phase 2 is what middle age death and phase 3 is what old age mortality so here also initially we have the high chance of the death newborn baby always has the high chance of the death then we have the constant life then again due to the old age we have the increase in the mortality rate so what is the nature of the failure rate in the phase 1 diminishing is starting from the very high value then for the phase 2 it is the constant or low near to t axis better the reliability means in this case here we have the better reliability because we have the low hazard rate value then after in the phase 3 we have the increasing in the failure rate that's why due to its shape we call it as a bathtub curve because its shape is like the bathtub let us have some example whatever you have studied till now example one 1000 products were put on test at time zero 400 of them were working at 2000 hours right initially there are 1000 products or device at the time of 2000 hours 400 are only working 50 of them failed in the next 100 hours and another 50 failed in the next 100 hours find the failure rate at the 2000 hour and at the 2100 hours so let we have the t is equal to 0 right here we have the t is equal to 2000 and here we have the t is equal to 2100 so at that time n is equal to 1000 machine device here we have only the 400 right uh, 400 and uh, 50 fail in the next 100 hours so in, in, in the next 100 hours 50 fail so here we have the only the 350 in the next 100 hours in the next 100 hours again the 50 fail so we have only the 300 item so you have to determine the failure rate at the t is equal to 2000 and t is equal to 2100 so you have to compute the failure rate for this uh, time so what i have told you hazard rate of a product at 2000 time will be the z at t is equal to 2000 number of failure per hour means it is a rate number of failure so 50 items are failing in 100 hours divided by number of surviving at 2000 hours so at that 2000 hours uh, 400 items are working so 50 upon 100 divided by the 400 right so that will be the hazard rate right at 2000 similarly hazard at uh, hazard rate at for the product at the 2100 means z at t is equal to 2100 number of failure per hour so in 100 hours total failure is 50 so here 50 upon 50 upon 100 divided by number of surviving so number of the surviving you have seen here you have seen here number of surviving at 2100 is the 350 so it divided by the 350 
so here we have the jetty for the device let us have if the data is given in the different form then the following table gives the result of the life test of the 665 electric motor giving the number of failure in time interval find the hazard rate you have to determine the hazard rate of a motor which are greater than 10 month old and 20 month old so initially at the time t is equal to 0 at the time t is equal to 0 total we have the 665 motors right at the t is equal to 10 at t is equal to 20 here we have the t is equal to 30 here we have the t is equal to 40 and t is equal to 50 so uh, time uh, time interval of month number of failures so during this month during this period total number of failure will be the 347 for this period total number of failure is 61 for this period it is 69 for this period for this period it is 87 and for this period it is the 101 right so initially we have the more failure because devices are new then also uh, in the latter part again we have the more failure due to the deterioration of the device in between we have the more or less constant failure rate so it is also following the birth and death process uh, uh, means birth of curve so uh, here total number of the uh, number of the failure in the 50 month 347 plus 61 plus 69 plus 87 plus 101 it is the total 665 so number of failure in 10 month after the first 10 month after the first 10 month means here after the first 10 month number of failure in the next 10 month is the 61 it means Per month, per month the failure rate will become the 61 upon 10. That is the 6.1. And total number of the surviving motors. Total number of the surviving motor means uh, 665 minus 347. Right? 665 minus 440, uh, 347. So it is the 318. So at that at this time we have the 318 motors. so the failure rate will become the 6.1 upon 318 similarly if you have to compute the at the t is equal to 20 so number of a failure in 10 month after 20 month is given to you 69 so per month failure rate will become 6.9 and total number of surviving is equal to 665 minus total number of failure during the 20 months so 347 plus 61 so total we have the 257 means at this time the remaining one is the 257 the failure rate will become failure rate will become the 6.9 upon 257 so in this way we can compute the required failure rate any doubt now we are talking uh, regularly we are talking that t is what it is the time to failure t is time to failure time to failure it means it is characterized by the ft and ft where ft is what pdf and this ft is what cdf so it is uh, time to failure is characterized by the pdf and cdf so we can know the time to failure either noting the actual time or by uh, correlating some with some physical uh, physical phenomena right so we can have the failure time it means ft is what ft is what it is a failure time distribution failure time distribution so uh, this distribution you can you can compute analytically also or you can use the standard one so here we will use only the standard one so we have the two type of the distribution 
for the reliability in your course exponential distribution and the bevel distribution so now we will study the failure time distribution right uh, for the exponential and the bevel one by one so let us start with the exponential failure time distribution so for the exponential if i am saying that x is the continuous random variable so for the exponential what you know or you can say let t t is the continuous random variable so for the exponential distribution what is what you know anything about the exponential distribution what is the pdf lambda right it is the continuous random variable value and parameter you can see parameter is equal to lambda so when parameter is lambda what is the ft lambda into e to power minus lambda t for t greater than 0 what is the ft it is the 1 minus e to power minus lambda t right for t greater than 0 what is the et it is the 1 upon lambda so this much you know for the exponential distribution so uh, exponential distribution explain the distribution of the failure time in phase 2 exponential distribution is suitable for describing the useful phase of bath tub curve that it describe the useful phase of the device of the system so here we know that if i am saying that it describe the failure rate uh, or failure phase of the, or phase 2 or useful phase of the device so let us assume t is what time to failure time to failure so what is the definition of the reliability reliability is what is the definition of the reliability probability t greater than t this is the definition of the reliability so what is the meaning of this sentence what is the meaning of this sentence probability probability device does not fail device does not fail up to time up to time t up to time t so during the useful phase the device failed due to what i have told you the device do not does not fail up to the time t so what is the reason for the failure in the useful phase damage pardon kya bola damage damage means some accident right so it means probability that there is no probability that if there is no device failure it means there is no so in the time in the time t and uh, when one uh, particular event is happening or when the rare event is happening in the continuous time by which process we define it by which process we define it do you have the idea yaar poisson process poisson process means it counts the rare occurrence of the rare event in a continuous time there we define the xt xt is the what number of so in time in time 0 to t in time 0 to t so when i am saying that probability there is no so in time t or in interval 0 to t it means what what i am saying that x t is equal to 0 
x t is equal to zero, and here the x t follow which distribution? X t follow the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda into t, lambda into t. So when x t is equal to zero, what is the PDF of the Poisson distribution? What is the PDF of the Poisson distribution? T power minus lambda t times lambda t power x by factorial. Right, e to power minus lambda lambda to power x upon factorial x. If we have this, so from here we have the e to power minus lambda t lambda t to power zero upon factorial zero. Right. So here we have the x is equal to zero, one, two, three, and so on. So this will give you e to power minus lambda t. So R t in case of the exponential distribution, when the failure time is exponential distribution, then R t is equal to this one. Means first to understand during the useful phase, during the useful phase, the device failed due to some accident, and that accident is a rare event in a continuous time zero to t. Means when uh, this is the time here we have the occurrence of some accident so due to the occurrence of the accident we have the failure of a device so at this time we have the failure so we have computed the reliability for the useful phase now you know that what is the r dash t from here r dash t will become the minus lambda e to power minus lambda t and what is the r dash t is equal to minus of ft so ft will become ft will become from here lambda e to power minus lambda t so what is the distribution what is the for p means it is a, a sm as the distribution of the exponential distribution so from here you can say t follow the exponential t follow the exponential distribution with parameter lambda now when we have this so you know that what is the ft ft is the cdf or unreliability 1 minus rt so 1 minus e to power minus lambda t so it is it is again implies that t follow the exponential distribution because it is the cdf of the exponential distribution i have told i have given you know here At this place, I have given you the ft for the exponential distribution in the one minus e to power minus lambda t. So this implies that t follow the exponential distribution with parameter lambda. Clear? Then after, what is the jet t? Jet t is the ft upon rt. Ft is lambda e to power minus lambda t. R t is e to power minus lambda t. That is the lambda. So here the j t is the lambda mean constant. That is the constant. So you have seen in the useful phase failure rate is more or less constant only. So here the failure rate is coming the constant. right now by if j t is given to you lambda constant if j t is given to you constant lambda so from the theorem 6.2 what is the formula of the reliability reliability is what e to power minus integral 0 to t j s into d s so e to power minus integral 0 to t j s is what lambda into ds so this will become e to power minus lambda s 0 to t so this will become the e to power minus lambda into t by the theorem 6.2 we have this formula so if hazard rate function is given to you as a constant then reliability you can compute similarly if you have to compute the ft ft is what jt into 
e to power minus integral 0 to t z s into d s. This we have. So z t is what? Lambda e to power minus lambda 0 to t lambda into d s. So just now we have computed this. So it is the lambda e to power minus lambda t. So this is the f t. So if the hazard rate function is given to you constant, so from there you can compute the PDF and the reliability of a device also. Then after mean, uh, mean time to failure, MTTF, mean time to failure. So we know the formula 0 to infinity RS into DS. RS into DS. RS is what? 0 to infinity e to power minus lambda s, right? Because rt is equal to e to power minus lambda t into ds. So this will become e to power minus lambda s upon minus lambda 0 to infinity. So this will give you 1 upon lambda. So mean time to failure for mean time to failure for the uh, device is equal to 1 upon lambda if hazard rate is constant. Right? If the hazard rate is constant or time to failure follow the exponential distribution, then the mean time to failure is 1 upon lambda. Now, question arise here. For every accident, we have the failure. When we are bimar, what do we do? Not necessary, no? With every accident, there is no death. So with every shock, there is a failure of the device. Not necessary. So if you define that, suppose if there is no failure with the shock. So suppose uh, we assume that P is the probability that after the shock, no failure occurs. Suppose P, what? The probability that after this shock there is no failure, there is no failure, there is no failure. After the shock there is no failure, then So this much we have discussed. So if P is the probability that even after the solve, no failure occurs, then reliability is, is equal to no failure in time interval 0 to T. That is the basic definition. Reliability is what? No failure in time 0 to T. It means it is nothing. It is it is SMS, there are N SOC, and after the N SOC, again the device is not filling. So N is equal to 0 to infinity, probability N SOC arrive in the time interval 0 to T, and the device, uh, device all, uh, uh, and the, the device survives all the N SOCs. So it is the A intersection B, A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of A given B. So summation n is equal to 0 to infinity probability that there are n shock x is equal to n because socks are coming as a Poisson process. So the probability x is equal to n and into probability or device survives survives all the n shock given there are the n shock. So, what is the formula of the probability of x is equal to n? x is equal to n. What is the formula of the x is equal to n? It will become summation. What is the formula of the x is equal to n? e to power minus lambda t, right? Lambda t power n upon the factorial n. And what is given to you? Uh, conditional probability. Uh, a given B that uh, the device survives all the n of given x is equal to n 
it means it is the p to power n it is the p to power n so this will become e to power minus lambda t upon lambda t summation and it will become the p lambda t power n upon factorial n so what is this summation e to power minus lambda t and what is this summation e to power p lambda t p lambda t it is the p lambda t so this can be written as e to power minus uh, minus so 1 minus p lambda t so if the reliability is this one if the reliability is this one so if you compute the r dash t r dash t it will be give you 1 minus 1 minus p lambda e to power minus 1 minus p lambda t it and this is what it is the ft it means t follow the exponential distribution with parameter 1 minus p into lambda so again again the device is working even we have the random sort here but device is working continuously up to the time t up to the time t device is working right even we have the number of sorts in between so that is possible only in case of the exponential distribution only right that's why the useful phase of a device is well explained by the right well explained by the exponential distribution only then after very important property of the exponential distribution you know what is that memory less property memory less property right so uh, this we have uh, computed now in the t has the exponential distribution with parameter lambda into 1 minus p if p is equal to 0 then also ft follow the exponential distribution with parameter lambda if uh, there is probability of uh, survival right after the accident is zero then also it follow the exponential distribution so we have this result uh, all these things we have already discussed if ft is equal to lambda e to power minus lambda t then z is equal to lambda if z is equal to lambda then ft is equal to lambda e to power minus lambda t then after this we have already computed now now if t has the exponential distribution then t greater than t plus t dash given t greater than t is equal to t greater than this should be the capital t this should be the capital t it is on on black so it is very hard to write here Right. Assume this is the capital T. So the probability of t greater than t dash means right hand side is independent of the small t, which means no aging effects. Means there is no aging effect on the device. The device is as good as new one. Whatever the time elapsed, that is immaterial. It its in failure time depend only on the current time so which means no aging effect device is at as good as new one throughout its life so it is true only for the useful phase so for the memory less property uh, it is given to you this is the capital t so probability capital t greater than t plus t dash given t greater than t so probability of a given b can be written as probability of a intersection b divided by the probability of b so probability of t greater than t plus t dash intersection t greater than t divided by the probability of t greater than t right so intersection will come probability of t greater than t plus t dash divided by the probability of t greater than t i think two times already we have sort of proved this i am saying that let this is the t let this is the t plus 
t dash so t greater uh, t greater than t plus t dash means this time and when we say that t greater than t it means this time so their intersection is the this time probability of t greater than t plus t dash so when we have probability t greater than t plus t dash so uh, it will give you integral from t to t dash uh, t plus t dash to infinity lambda e to power minus lambda t delta uh, dt divided by integral t to infinity lambda e to power minus lambda t dt so after the integration and solving you will get the e to power minus lambda t dash so e to power minus lambda t dash is nothing probability t greater than t dash right t greater than t dash so it implies that there is no right right hand side does not depend on the small t it depend only on the t dash means whatever the time we are talking it depend only on that it does not depend over the past time so this implies that there is no aging effect right how much time elapses there is no effect of that so there is no aging effect it means we have the very important conclusion last line we have the very very important conclusion that these three statements are equivalent means we can say either device has the constant failure rate means hazard rate is the constant or we can say the life length t of a device follow the exponential distribution or the device is as good as the new one so all the three statement implies the uh, each other uh, if if i say t follow the exponential distribution automatically hazard rate function is constant and it is as good as the new one if i am saying that device is as good as new one it means it follow the exponential distribution and hazard rate is constant so these three statement are synonyms to each other so that's all for today in next class we will start with the view so this this uh, the, this conclusion is very very important conclusion for the exponential distribution so in the numerical example we can give the sentence by any way you have to recognize it follow the exponential distribution so that's all for today in next class we will start the new failure time distribution so yes so in practice how can a device be as good as new throughout its life so the, uh, if you are assuming that failure rate is constant then when in the practical life you are not assuming that failure rate is constant it is increasing then it is not so na okay sir if your presumption is uh, failure rate is constant so it is as good as the new one okay sir any other doubt so please log out if see me sir yes sir i had doubt in the mitchen solutions kya uh, sir in the last question uh, can you please explain why it, uh, each quantity is multiplied directly by 30 when i will distribute at the time we will discuss right okay when i will show the copy when i will discuss the when i will return the copy then i will discuss okay sir okay i will give you the chance for that okay sir thank you